have a wee bit of a problem. Here, this list is supposed to display the tasks which are due in the next 10 days. But as you can see, it goes a little bit beyond that. Today is July 4th, and it's displaying tasks which are due July 17th. So that's obviously more than 10 days away. Now I want to try to figure out why this problem exists and debug it live. First of all, let's check out the code and see if there's any obvious problems. Now this is the index action, and notice I'm calling a custom find method on the task model, find near due, and I'm passing today's date to it. So let's go to the task model and check out that custom find method. So I got the, the time passed in, adding 10 days to it, and then finding all tasks which are due before that date. So, um, I don't see anything obviously wrong here. So I need to break out a cool development tool for debugging. Now, oh, in the old days I would have used a, the script breakpointer, but that, that doesn't work in Ruby anymore, the latest version, so that's pretty sad. But fortunately, there is a much better tool out now called Ruby Debug, which will work well for this solving this problem. To get started, I need to install the the gem. So gem install Ruby Debug, and I'll use the dash Y option, which will include dependencies. And so install that. And now I need to go in the development environment uh, config file. So this is oh this config file is only loaded in the development environment, which is development.rb. You can find that in the config slash environments uh, directory. And I'm going to require the gem here. Now this step isn't necessary if you're using the edge rails but or soon to be rails 2.0, but in the stable release 1.2.3 it is currently still necessary. So require Ruby debug here, and then actually go into the task model, and let's add a little debugger line, which will start the uh, breakpoint. And now we just start up the server again. Now if you are using edge rails, you'll want to use the debugger option, but in the stable release, you don't use that option. You just start it like normal. Now I'm using Mongrel. Now this will work with Webbrick as well, but I don't think it will work with any fast CGI base, which is such as Lighty or Apache or anything else. So it's best to stick with Mongrel for this uh, debugging. Mongrel's a great server anyway. I recommend it for everybody. So now um, let's try reloading this page again and it appears that the browser just hangs there, it doesn't do anything. Now that's because it's not getting a response from the server. The reason is that I have a debug prompt here, which allows me to debug this problem. Here I can call help and see a list of different commands I have available to me. I can call help on a specific command, such as list, and see an examples for that, that command. Let's try calling list, <coughs> excuse me, and that will give us uh, the code in context and show us exactly where we are. As you can see, we're about to set the due date uh, variable. So let's print a variable here. Uh, let's print time. You can see that's a date. Convert it to time, and you can see that it's the current day. So that's, that's pretty good. That looks correct. We can call next on here to call the next action, execute that line of code. And you can see that it's onto the next line. So now our due date variable should be set. So let's try that, and you can see that's a date as well. A call to string on this. And whoa, that date is way far in the future, so that looks like our problem. Now to solve this, I'm going to jump into an IRB. You just type IRB here, and that's an interactive Ruby prompt like script console, which will allow us to further debug this problem and change its behavior and correct it right here in line in the code, which is really, really cool about Ruby. So here we go. Let's try check the due date variable again here just to make sure 
That's wrong. Yep, that looks wrong. Let's check time, make sure that's still the current day. That's correct. So why would it be setting the due date way ahead of day? Um, I'm adding 10 dot days to it. And by the way, that y uh, method is just converting it to YAML to make it a little bit easier to understand. 10 dot days is, well, that's a big number. And what it looks like is it's 10 days converted into seconds. And I'm assuming that when you add seconds, like a big number to it, to the current time, yep, that's way far in the future. And 10 dot days is meant to be added to a time object, but here we're dealing with a date object. And so that's a little bit confusing here because time is a date. And when you add an integer to a date, it's actually adding it as days. So let's just try time plus 10. Yep, that's 10 days in the future. That's exactly what we want, the 14th. So let's try setting the due date variable to that. And let's check that out again. Now that looks correct now. So let's exit from this, this prompt and continue from the debugger. This will continue the execution of the Ruby script, which will uh, pass the response back to the browser. So it now renders, and you can see that there is not displaying any tasks which are beyond 10 days now. So this is correct. So we've actually solved the problem in Ruby um, in line directly. So that's really cool. Now we have to actually make the change in our code. So go back here, move the debugger, and just add 10 here. Now one problem is that we name this variable time, but that's not a good representation, it's actually date. So that was part of the problem, is the bad variable name. So just call it date. And now, startup, uh, we don't need to restart the server, let's just reload here. And you can see that it's doing it correctly now, all thanks to the Ruby debugger. Hey, don't forget about the Railscast contest. To participate, all you have to do is submit a documentation patch to the Ruby on Rails track, and then email me a link to contest at railscast.com. And then on July 27th, I'll be picking eight winners at random. There's an array of great prizes. There are Pragmatic Programmer books, Peep Code episodes, iPod Shuffle, Nintendo DS Lite, and more. So check it out at railscast.com contest.